this, this is my installation, and it's called The Act of Drinking Beer with Friends is the Highest Form of Art. I'm doing this piece in Leipzig, Germany, in, in two weeks, and, uh, and it's in a show called uh, The Pleasures of Food. So it's similar to this show, like Feast. And um, I was in a show in the San Francisco Museum of Art five years ago called The Art of Participation. So it's sim also a similar idea. So there, there are lots of theme shows in the last few years about right. uh, this idea. Some people think I'm the, I'm the father of, uh, of this idea of social practice, social art, social sculpture. Uh, some guy wrote a book in France called um, Nicolas Bouillard called the Relational Aesthetics. Right. And they teach it in art school now. They call it social practice. And so the that, that sort of, I guess, refocused attention on this sort of thing. Right. Uh, he cites me as one of his influences. Um, yeah, well, I did this, this uh, installation in, in, uh, in, in Tokyo about uh, maybe 10 years ago. And um, the, the title of the shelf of the beer is called uh, An Aid to Communication. And they translated that into Japanese. Then they translated it back into English, and it became Accelerated Communication. So, Very so like, like it's a lubricant, social lubricant, the yeah. beer, you know. And it's used in religious, religious rituals throughout history. And so it's, in a way, this is a, a way to heighten the, 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 the experience, you know, the alcohol. Yeah. And, and it's an American sacramental wine for me. This piece is uh, more than just uh, drinking beer. It's, uh, it's all of the elements that make up the, the, the big sculpture. It's like a big sculpture. It's participatory sculpture. Well, it, the piece is, since I've done it so, for so long, it's evolved. And it, the first time I did it, it was more like, Rickard's work, work where the, just the debris was left without kind of aesthetic considerations. But over time, the first time I did it, it was just like a, it was like there was a party and it didn't get cleaned up. You know? right. That was the show, you know, that was the show in the, the museum. But then over time, I, 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 I perfected it and, and made, made it more aesthetic and I was been to Japan many times and I was influenced by the tea ceremony which is an oh, aesthetic, aesthetic that, yeah. experience you know so so it's about aesthetics really and and, uh, and and sometimes people just think oh it's just it's just a beer party somebody said to me one time oh well I do that all the time with my friends and I said is that and they said is that art and I said no it's a copy of my art uh, it, it's it's starting to become boring it's become so okay. so famous yeah I mean uh, I, I'm uh, it's it's at the expense of my my other art, but um, but that's all right because I'm I'm glad to be working and I'm a I I think I'm a I'm a constantly emerging artist. I keep getting re, I keep getting rediscovered because uh, uh, because some of the things I've done like uh, one second sculpture, 1969, uh, Austrian artist named Erwin Worm did a series of one minute sculptures, un, unaware of my my piece, and so because of Erwin Worm. My one second sculpture from '69 got got rediscovered and was in, in, a, in a show in France, you know, and and they bought the piece actually, and then um, so in the, in this beer with friends is because it's it's become a movement now. Then it, when anybody does any any research, they, they they learn about this, and so then I get rediscovered. So I keep getting rediscovered. So it's like uh, I'm having my second 15 minutes in a way, you know, because in in the '70s I was I was busy and, and then. In the, in the 80s, it was slow because uh, there's a period of painting, you know, and art about money. You know, so it goes back and forth. Every other decade, I'm famous. Oh, well, 